Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandigar. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. In this video, I will show you the main features of D5 Render and explain why you should switch to a real-time rendering engine like D5 Render. I have a scene here where I want to add main lights. I go to the light tab, choose the HDRI lighting option and select an HDRI map from the list. That's it. There are great features that allow you to control the direction, intensity, angle, and other settings to create the best lighting for your interior or exterior scene. You can also add sunlight to your HDRI light to create a stronger lighting and more shading details. One of the greatest benefits of using a real-time rendering engine is that you see the result of any light adjustments in real time, saving you time and helping you create the best lighting. Make sure the color temperature of your sunlight matches your HDRI light so the warmth of the light source is consistent. Also ensure that you follow the HDRI direction so that both light sources shine in the same direction. In the Effect tab, you can apply post-processing effects to enhance your scene before exporting it. Regarding the LUT, you can choose any LUT from the list or load your customized LUT file.
Another great benefit of D5 Render is its extensive material library which allows you to apply PBR materials to your models and customize them based on your preferences. You can also create your own materials by loading maps from your hard drive and adjusting the parameters using the inspector tab. Once you're done, you can save your materials in the local tab of the Yazid library. The real-time material preview eliminates the need for multiple test renders to check the quality and appearance in your scene. If you want to add animations or animated particles to your scene, D5 Render provides a great library for that. Simply choose the particle, place in the desired position, and adjust the parameters to achieve the desired look in your scene. If you need to reposition the particle, you can easily move it. You can see the result before rendering the animation thanks to the real-time rendering capabilities. In the asset library, you will find high-quality 3D objects ready to be placed in your scene. Just select the desired object, download it, and place it. You can also adjust the position after placing it. While I'm adding only one tree here, you can use the brush tool located on the left side of the model tab to apply as many models as you want. The brush tool offers options such as brush radius, object size, randomness, and density, allowing you to create a realistic simulation. To learn more about painting models in your scene, watch my tutorial available here. As you already know, the greatest feature of D5 Render is its real-time rendering capability. Every detail you see in your scene represents the final quality or output of your work. If you feel it's not great yet, you can improve it by adding more details such as different materials, models, particles, light intensity, direction, and so on. Once you're satisfied, adjust your camera angle, add a new scene camera, and move to the rendering tab. In the rendering tab, you can adjust the field of view, focal length, aspect ratio, output size, and even add channel export for post-production purposes.
Here is the final result of rendering this scene without any post-production. It's raw and all the details are sharp and clear. It took 8 minutes and 25 seconds with an RTX 2070 graphic card. The rendering time may vary depending on your graphic card. I've provided all the details of my laptop in the description. Creating animations in a real-time rendering engine is fun and allows you to be creative in telling your story. D5 Render includes core animation features such as walkthrough, adding cameras, setting timer to transition between cameras, and adding clips to navigate and animate different parts of your scene. You can update your camera and see the animation by simply pressing the play button. You can also configure the output quality and video format and video frame rate. Increasing the frame rate provides a smoother output. Once everything is set, press render to start rendering the animation. Let's create more clips and add them to the render queue for automatic rendering. I will add all the clips to the render queue. Here we can see the clips. I select them. Choose the location for the saved files and that's it. Now I can press render to create the animations. D5 Render offers a cool sync feature that allows you to load your scene from 3D software like 3D's Max and other 3D applications. It transfers your scene objects, lights and cameras and keep them synced with any changes you make in your 3D application. The live sync response time is very short, so you don't need to wait for the changes to be applied. As I mentioned, you can select your camera in your 3D software and use the camera icon in the D5 feature list to send it to the D5 render. Regarding scene updates, here I removed some objects and updated the scene which sends the latest changes to D5 Render. By the way, D5 Render is offering a giveaway to subscribers of my channel. 3 subscribers will receive a 1 month pro account for free. Join my Discord channel to participate. That's all for now. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified about the next video. See you soon. Have fun.